We'll make it, Tobia. All the way to Iskandar and back. Yeah. Wherever you were, I owe my life to you. I won't waste it. You and those like you, you'll be coming with us in spirit. Next DLC mission! Fight between men. With the Omni Defense Order and the Hybrid Armor. Having succeeded in destroying the Gamala's Pluto frontline base, the Yamato leaves the solar system, plunging into the awe inducing sea of scars that stars as the Milky Way. As the crew prepares to venture in the unknown, Kodai visits Commander Okita to try and ease his troubled mind. I understand you. I do. You are afraid without reason. While we finish working on joint maneuvers with our, for our mobile weapons in the Yamato, if this keeps up, one of our frontline units may make a critical error. You mean Ryoma Nagare? Yes. There were incidents of ins incidences of in ah, I can talk. There were incidents of insupported behavior during the capture of the base on Pluto. Tsuya Suruki managed to get the situation under control, but we're going to have to think about how best to handle him. Hmm. From another world, and trying to fit their machines into our strategy might not be possible. Lieutenant Kodai, you'll be taking a team to investigate the base. Yes, sir. We'll be meeting the Gamelins sooner or later. I thought we were leaving the solar system. They've been persistent over the years. I doubt they'll give up the fight over the loss of one base. The moment we return, we'll be in their sights. And our survival depends on those weapons and this ship being able to work together. We won't survive unless I, unless I can get them to do it. Fry a horse by riding him, or so they say. And your job is to make them into a team. Yes, sir. Try a new voice for Okita now, one that doesn't involve as much rasp because it kind of takes a lot of my throat. Can't believe we were fighting here three days ago. The base is completely gone. Not exactly something to investigate. Federation will take care of any detailed work, Gamelin tech and the like. Our job here is to survey and secure the area. They called us to do this. Not they. I and the commander. Is there something you want to say? Uh... Mr. Nagarin, I understand that civilians lead different lives, but as long as you're on this ship, you will follow our orders. You're talking like I don't know that. We're not going anywhere. We can't. You let us on your ship, we'll go or we'll do whatever we need to. Give us an order, sir. Let's get this done. Alright then. Every one of you is to go to the point I designate and collect data. Roger that. Give it up, sir. Er, uh, sure. Kincaid now. Former ace pilot of the Crossstone Vanguard Space Pirates. Honestly, wish I could ask you to do this instead of me. But no. I'm the tactical officer. This is my job to do. I want to have Kato take Kato to, I could have Kato take care of the aircraft squad, but it won't work unless I can command the mobiles. Got a data gathered, sir. What's the next order? Move to the next point. Roger that. Let's see, Suruki. You may be from another world, but you're a lot easier to work with than Ryoma. I'm not sure about the amnesia thing, but maybe you can keep him under control. But no, I couldn't even call myself a leader pulling something like that. I'll have to handle Ryoma myself. Gah! I thought they had specialists for this stuff. No grabbing while you work, Mr. Guy. Give us one of those and it would bring everyone down. But come on, fish have to swim, right? Our job is to fight the enemy. I don't know why the hell they'd group us together. Honestly. Heads up, energy signature com energy signature coming from below. It's the monster we met on un met on Enceladus! Then why the heck is it on Pluto? Why the heck is it on Pluto? I fought the same kind of invader. They captured a lot of hardware. They're tough. Some of the cells that were on Yamato grew here, probably. How could it live through that? Yoma, wait! I haven't given the order to attack! 
They're the enemy. I'm not waiting to get hit first. I said, I'll fight them, and the rest of you can back me up. Uh... Yuma is all pretty individualistic. It gets him into a lot of fights. Nothing we can do, sir. Fine, then. But you'll still have to follow orders. Not now. Not here. Ryoma! I'm going to crush them. Me. It's what I do. I'm the best I is at what I do, and what I do isn't very nice. I mean, he's totally Wolverine. I need, need to get, I need to do like the 90s Wolverine, uh, 90s X-Men Wolverine voice for him. I need to figure out how to do it. Tending more Stallone right now. So Ryoma's already in a good position to attack these guys, and also to get absolutely swamped. And as we learned from the, from the mission on, the first mission, he is actually surprisingly squishy for a for a super robot. All right, so I have to make the PW use boost dash because you are way the hell over there, and you're not going to be able to get in the support position in time unless I use boost dash. You at least can get into attack position. Nope, you can't either. So you're actually going to have to use boost dash too. If Ryoma's not going to end up in getting freaking squashed. It would be nice if all my upgrades were present for this. Because, particularly for this one. Because I've done upgrades prior to this mission. So I should get those upgrades. Be able to take advantage of those upgrades. Alright. 100% chance. We were able to keep it together when we captured the base. But it might take a while until we can actually work as a team. Yep, so these ones were... Just test him over the earlier animation. Alright. Can't quite get in a position to reinforce you. Alright. I have a few more points now. You guys I could hit. There's you. There's you. This should straight up finish you off. And I'm going to get hit really bad. Hayato, Musashi, old man Musatome, look at what fighting the invaders did to us. I'm tired of losing everybody. From here on, I fight alone. I'm a, I'm a loader, daddy. A rebel. Alright, everyone else is attacked. So that ends the turn. Let's see if we can coordinate. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm trying to invade. It drops a below 50% hit chance that I want. I didn't want to do that. That was a mistake. Oops. Alright. You can attack with the drill pressure punch on him. What's going on with you, Ryoma? I, I've never seen him like this before. And we both get, and we both get hit. I hit harder. It's kind of actually the, the best distinction between super robots and real robots here. But I can't, like, strip. Drop him. Ow! Okay, that hurt. 
spirits. Um, I need to move out of to a less squishy position. Now to do some hot boomerang on you. Yeah, I can't move close enough to do a preview of the actual fawn kid or tomahawk, so let's do the tomahawk boomerang. And then we'll take you down. I made a boot. I made a really bad mistake you there and I can't undo your action. Alright. Okay, you can't touch me at all. Okay, that's good. It's not working. He just won't listen. Guess I'm going to have to keep him on a long leash. But alert, people. They're coming again. Leave them to me. Rioma! Oh, damn invaders. You're going to be dust when I'm through with you. You know how many lives you've ruined? Oh, no. Stop! There's more? We need to be smart about this. Ryoma! Being smart about this involves not literally running into the middle of the crowd of enemies like a goddamn berserker. Ooh! Ah! You're a moron! Your machine can't take all that. I need to do this. You... I'm your commander. Your lives are in my hands. My first priority is to get you all back alive. Sorry. Er, you wouldn't have had would have had to if I didn't go off like that. It's just that, you know, I've seen a lot of people die. People that were important to me. Ah, I get it now. The Yoma values the team, comrades. Went headlong to keep us going headlong to keep us out of danger. That'll be enough, you two. These things don't know the first thing about us. Yes, and if they're not holding back, then neither are we. Awaiting your orders. We keep together and we can take them out in no time. That's what I like to hear. I want everyone to be ready to cover each other's blind spots when we hit them back. You hear that, invaders? No way in hell you're stopping us from leaving. Okay. Okay. Story-wise, I got hit, but I did not take any real damage. You there, you there, and you there. It best if you can't trust me enough to follow my orders. Eyes in my hands, don't to follow me if I can't prove I'm taking this seriously. Alright, Commander Okuda, I guess you have one last lesson before we left home. <laughs> Whip! Thirty-two or better. Higher hit chance. Lower crit chance. Alright. The regular gear beam. Regular beam has a has a pretty good hit chance. And a higher crit chance. Actually, I'm kind of okay with spreading this out a little bit. Actually, no. I want to kill this. Big. They have an 87, 84% chance of hitting us. Let's finish him. Um, 
No, there's actually no real actual reason to not use the regular Gator Beam on these guys. The same power. Three years in the click must have made me softer than I thought. Scared of losing people? So what? You fight, and you fight with them. Red hit! There you go. Alright, now we need to make some way over there. Help. Pop it up. Alright, I'm gonna move you over here. And get you to the beam saber. Now, if I can kill him, we can. Okay. Hey, 0% hit chance this time, when well, other we're both on the ground. Also, you need to heal. Or at least, to be, I have to use that from the very beginning, because you are really squishy. Guess the tactical officer was able to make something out of this ragtag bunch. We can do this. You want to fight? You got one. Kill you, but you can't hit me. And what I'm going to try to do here is do team ups. Finish some of these guys off. He was seriously worried. That's how he used to be. I know what I need to do. I have to do now. I need to get him back to his world. And finish you off with the breast fire. Or breast burn, rather. It's Mazinger. That's you. So we're now working in groups of two as we make our way back to the middle. Okay, and now they counterattack. Sixty-five percent chance. Let's give it. I should probably should have landed actually. It helped. Um. Ow. Zero percent hit chance from you. That's good. Okay. Let's start the battle. And you whiff. And you're absolutely dead. Alright, can't touch me. Can't see me. This is where the attacks kind of start adding up chip with chip damage. Alright, so you're going to land. I think you'll have a better defense possibility when you're on the ground. Uh, six one up does the other, but the point is that you're going to kill them. Kill him, which is what I want. Alright. You can hit both of these guys and take them both out. Hit multi action. Get a beam on you. It is both 100% hit chance, and my damage threshold is higher than your hit points. 
So, you die. I don't have hit in the way, which I really want. I can't move yet. Alright, and then hit you with the machine cannon. And that's the turn. Um, let's change my attack. I feel as we've done all these these guys in the air. We haven't done any with them flying on the even them standing on the ground, like actually on the ground. So let's let's watch all the ground attack animations. Nope, it's just the same. Like, they don't make any variation to reflect the fact that guys like they're standing on the ground. That's kind of disappointing. Like, one of the things that makes the world look great is that the great bits is these animations. The reason I'm skipping them is because they're long. And occasionally they get you copyright flagged. We actually did it. But we actually did it. We're going to have to burn the remains. We don't want them coming back. Thank you, Ryoma. Thank you for following orders. And forget it. I did the only thing there was to do. Put me in the middle of a stupid plan and I'm going solo again. That's not what he's thanking you for. Uh, you put... Life and life for teammates, just like he would his, himself. I, I, I don't what... I don't know what you're... I learned something about you today. Here's to being on the team, Ryoma. It, it, it's not like I like you or anything. Don't expect any chocolates on Valentine's Day or White Day. You, you're skeezing me out, man. Keep pretending if you want. Prison for a command didn't commit. That would explain his distance. Oh, that does, uh, that, uh, does it for the job. Back to the Yamato. Sure thing, just a move. Nothing to worry about. Just give it some time. There's new friends who have them all sorted out. And I'll, ha and I'll do what I have to do. Mission accomplished. Oh, Kincaid! I heard you went down to the base. Did the invaders really attack you? I guess. Wait! Why didn't they call us? Pretty simple. Because it was a job only we could do. We got ourselves a pretty good commander. Oh! Officer Kodai finally has Ryoma's approval, eh? What's that supposed to mean? We, we're... Okay, I'm not sure if this is a typo or it intended to be written as a stutter. I am going to assume as no stutter. We're pretty worried. I mean, you don't exactly have a good track record. I know, you're always running off. Oop. I think this means the joint maneuvers are going to work. You're exactly right, both of you. We'll be having a meeting about that strategy. Wait a second, they just got back. Don't you think they should get some rest? There'll be none of that. We need to be ready before we leave Pluto. You heard him. Tose, Obia, hop two. Sh sure thing. See you in the briefing room in ten minutes. <clears throat> uh, what's up, Akira? What's up, Akira? You're burning holes in Officer Kodai. I don't know. It's his face. He looks different somehow. Maybe he's the captain's on the mission. He definitely looks in control now. Well, that'll definitely be a load off our backs. Now we've got everything in order for our trip to Iskandar. Again, I'm counting on you. 
My life is in your hands, right? Thanks, Ryoma. I'm gonna do everything I can to get us back home. But first, we need to get to Iskandar. My world and not. I'll try to keep the smart comments to myself. If you guys are out there, and so am I. Shoulder to shoulder. And a whole bunch of new parts. And cash. And tech points. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show. And it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.